Hey. So here is truesocial.com website and now this app is also available on the web. Uh, so now you can uh, you can just log into this app. And this app was recently introduced that you can now use it on the browser. So yep, this is quite limited. Uh, so we can go to like to the uh, to the True Social mobile app on iOS. So you can see here you have four tabs: feed, search, alerts, and messages. Here you just have feed, search, and notification. Uh, so uh, then uh, you have uh, your accounts. You can add an existing account here, so it's interesting. Then you have profile section. Uh, you can see all your history. You can edit your profile. Uh, choose profile picture, change background picture. That's what you can do, but you can't change your username here. So uh, then you have you can share your profile, then there are preferences, uh, show retrues, show replies, you can change the theme. Uh, there are all these settings and then there are options to delete an account. But anyways, this is the feed and here you can see all of the accounts you're following, similar as on Twitter, you can retweet, you can like, you can comment. You can create a new truth. That's how they call their tweets. That's how it looks like. You can compose it. Uh, you can attach uh, some files, uh, images. You can add some emojis uh, and then just tap truth. There is like 500 characters limit. And uh, uh, yeah, that's what uh, you can do. It's, it's a bigger limit than on Twitter. And Twitter is around like 200. 80 characters or something but yeah this web app allows you to use uh, true social if you are on android for example because there is no android app and before it was only uh, only ios app so if you had an android phone like some samsung or something google pixel you won't be able to to use this app so now you can just use it via uh, this web experience so here you can also see blocks mute so you can block someone or mute someone uh, yeah so if you just mute someone uh, you just uh, you won't be able to see their content in your feed if you block someone that person also won't be able from reading your content and then there are preferences so yeah if you want to delete your account you can do it from here in the very bottom uh, you can switch accounts, uh, so you can have few accounts and switch them. You can add an existing account and that's it. So like the app is like very basic at this moment. The main point of this is that you can follow these people in conservative community and that's it. And then you can just do like basic interactions. There is no DM messaging feature. Uh, there is no like, you know, a live audio chats or live video chats or like, you know, some games or like all this like additional social media stuff. So it's it's not here. Um, and yeah, so it's just very basic for now. Uh, like on on the mobile app, you can see there is messaging tab, but it says new direct message experience will be available soon. Please stay tuned but it's it's not available yet here um so yeah that's basically what it is at the moment uh, so go to the website and you can create an account i don't know if this app is available though outside of outside of us or uh, because if you're traveling or if you're in europe or australia i don't even know what about canada i don't think you will be able to access this app from those countries uh, especially iOS mobile app. The website, maybe it, it's less protected or something. Maybe you can access it from there. So try it out. Uh, you don't need, uh, yeah, so you can just create your account with, uh, with email, with phone number. Before there was like a huge waiting list where you needed to wait like two months to get access to the app. Now it's, it's uh, shorter.
So yeah, that's the overview. Hope this is helpful.